Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to check out Vocalisa from Impact Soundworks. Let's check it out. All right, so let's check out Vocalisa. We have a few different patches here. You can get like the full choir master patch, um, or you can split it up into uh, mezzo soprano, altos, and sopranos. And they also have a soloist patch. And also for each of these, they usually have a master patch, and they also have clusters and effects. So we'll explore a little bit of that. And the um, sopranos, mezzos, and altos also have staccato patches as well. So let's check out the full choir ensemble. Um, I have covered this library a little bit in the past with my top five favorite orchestral libraries um, because it was part of a bundle in the shop. But here we're going to dive in again. So this is the interface. You have different syllables that you can select from to get a natural performance. And then in the solos, we also have some ornaments and stuff like that. But let's check out the full um, choir and see what we can get with it. And then also we have different patterns over here for sequencing the syllables. So let's check it out. So we have these different syllables you can choose from. All you have to do really is just click and it will set up this sequence for you. Now that's saved as pattern one and you can enable the different patterns down here in the red key switches. So then we can go to pattern two, set up a different one, and then when you hit the key switch down here, it'll bring up whatever pattern you have saved. So you can have up to 12 of them saved on these different key switches. Also, there's a different way to do this if you want to go here and go to key switch mode now the different syllables are mapped to the yellow keys down there in the same range so you can do it kind of on the fly and mix and match it and stuff like that so when you hit this key down here it'll trigger a different syllable so there's just a few different ways to do that uh, let's go and check out the soloists real quick because these have some cool ornaments and everything as well <laughs> So you get those cool kind of ornaments um, in addition to the, the regular syllables that we have also for the full choir. Um, let's go down here. Here we have some staccatos, which only have two different syllables, which is kind of limiting, but you can switch between them just by hitting the key switch here. And then let's check out some of like the clusters and effects, which are very cool. So here's the clusters patch. Let's check that out. So you'll notice this, the tone of this choir is very unique. It's a Bulgarian choir, and there's really, I can only think of one, maybe two other libraries 
on the market that actually do this style. So Vocalise is a very unique library. I really love the tone of these kinds of singers and it really kind of spices things up uh, as opposed to just like the standard, you know, orchestral or classical choirs that we're all familiar with. So it's a great value and very unique product. Uh, still holds up today. And as you can hear, we get you know these different sections you can do some very detailed writing with the alto sopranos mezzo sopranos and then also the soloists it can add some you know extra detail on top but of course i think most people will go just open up that full choir master patch or the clusters um, the clusters are great for horror movies for you can kind of hold down a chromatic scale you know start on c and then slowly play that each notes holding each one and then rise up the mod wheel and you'll get like that really eerie you know choir swell that's really great in horror movies and then the full choir master patch i think is the one most of us will be using um, with the scylla builder built in so it's very easy to you know build your own phrases and kind of switch between those on the fly for added realism and if you want just you know a standard sustain just Put one syllable and you got it right there so that is a little look at vocalisa if you want to have a you know a kind of a look at what it sounds like in a track um we'll link to the video where i did the top five orchestral libraries in the shop and i use it in a track to really great effect in that one so thanks for checking this out with me remember to like the video subscribe if you want to support us and i will see you guys next time thanks